Hi Laser Gerbial friend, today I want to test with you the Yora Home 6550 Pro Laser Engraver. Yora Home is an American brand and this is the first time I did a review of one of their products and I had the chance to interview Jim, one of the members of Yora Home staff. And so after the review, we are going to ask Jim some few questions. This model is called the 6550 because it has a working area of 65 by 50 cm, which makes it about 30% larger than most engraving machines. And the nickname Pro tells us that we have a machine complete of all the accessories that make it a high-end product, such as 10 watt of optical power laser, an eye assist system integrated in the laser head, the supplied eye assist pump, and the cable management system based on the rank chain for a tidy and clean workspace. The fact that it is an American product can be seen from the first moment we open the box and find a very complete and well-made assembly and use manual. And we take in hand the pieces that are very good material and generous thickness. The machine is really well designed and nothing is left to chance. Focusing is really easy thanks to the micrometric slide and to the spacer block that allow you to adjust different depth of focus. I run my standard test on a 5mm piece of poplar playwood using a speed of 500mm per minute at full power. In two passes the disc is already cut with a clean edge and without burns, thanks to the RAC system. Finally, I wanted to do a marking test on stainless steel to see how it behaves on this material. And the machine has proven capable of producing excellent results on a cutter blade. However, this type of an engraving machine are not designed for use on metals. So I don't recommend making intensive use on this material. What I have found in my test is that the Yora Home 6550 perform better than the average 10, 10 watt optical power laser and so I can suggest this machine to everyone who is looking for a big frame machine uh, made of a good quality materials and with a lot of uh, details that make this machine very solid, very high quality, well finished uh, engraver. Another key point of Yora Home is the after sale support I have online Jim, one of the members of the uh, Yora Home after sales support, and so let's ask uh, some questions to Jim. Hi Jim, tell us about yourself uh, and uh, your role uh, in Yora Home. All right, well, thank you for the opportunity. Um, my name is Jim. I am the tech support manager with Yora Home. I've been with the company about three years now. Um, like most of our team, I actually started out as just another customer and had enough of a belief in the company that ultimately became an employee with the company and now help manage pretty much the whole U.S. side of the operation. In this sector, there is a very high competition, you know? Right. <laughs> a lot of brand uh, making uh, good product and bad product too. And um, what, uh, what do you think? Uh, what uh, people need to pay attention in order to choose a first-rate product, a good quality product? Big thing is going to be how it is supported. As I was alluding to, um, for us, customer support is paramount. Um, some of our competitors, and I, I will never speak poorly of any, of any of them, they each have their advantages and disadvantages. There's a lot, like you said, great quality machines out there. Um, where we try and stand out is that we do support the machines. Some manufacturers, the only support means they have might be a web page with some information, or you can email them and hopefully get an answer back. For us, we've established multiple resources for our customers. They can reach out to us via our Facebook users group, which is devoted to only our customers. So anybody that's in that group, we're talking to someone that has one of our machines. We now have a community forum, which is open to the public so people can see more interaction with what the machines are doing. 
we've established a knowledge base for self-learning um, that is still in its infancy, but growing considerably. And that's videos, manuals, that sort of thing. But the big one is if they email us with a support request, it is viewed within hours at most and assigned to one of our tech support team. And we shoot for actioning upon that within 24 hours. Um, it, if the case requires it, we can respond via email. A lot of times that'll solve the problem. If it's a little more involved, we'll reach out and call them on the phone. And we'll even do Zoom meetings if that's what it takes to get a person up and running. One thing we offer to every one of our customers is they get a free one hour Zoom meeting with one of our technicians, whether it be myself or another member of my team to help walk them through if they're stuck assembling the machine, if, they're, if they just need guidance on how to operate it, that's where we're gonna come out and, and show them. We do now have a showroom here in the US. We've had more than one customer that comes to here and we'll sit okay. down and walk them through how to use their machine. So in a nutshell, to answer your question, look for the customer support, look for that service because anybody can sell you a machine, but if they're not going to provide you the help to keep it up and running, then you're potentially wasting money. The next question is, uh, what are the quality standards you apply and what are the warranty policies? Quality, obviously we're shooting for our manufacturers to provide us the best quality device we have. We're not meeting any particular ISO standards or anything like that, but we've actually changed suppliers a couple times over the years if the suppliers were not meeting the level that we wanted to see. Um, it's great timing on the warranty issue um, because we've just revised our warranty. We offer a 40 day guarantee. If you get your machine, there's a defect, there's an issue with it within that first 40 days, we're gonna replace it or refund it. Preferably we wanna replace it because we want you to be successful. We've now extended our warranty on most components to one year. That's for purchases made after August 1st. Um, we've been able to work with our suppliers to extend that warranty period out. Um, now, obviously, that doesn't cover consumable items like the uh, bits, certain laser components that are considered more of a consumable item, really. Yeah. Um, some of our machines have a longer warranty period. Our big CO2 machines are a two-year warranty. Okay. What are your next goal? And uh, if you can, uh, if you want to reveal some preview of uh, new products or new laser? <laughs> um, ultimately, we always want to get more power capability to people. So we're always looking for what, what advances are being made in the laser power capability front and how can we offer those. We want more ease of use. So that's going to be not only the software, but the machine itself and how does it best work to get the customer up and running as quickly as possible. Um, we're looking in both directions from a workspace standpoint. Like I said, our 6550 is our, our flagship machine. We've had people ask about larger machines. We do have an expansion kit that's gonna be coming out soon that will increase the 6550 to a 65100. So wow. that doubles your workspace. But at the same point, we're also considering a smaller machine because what we're finding is there's a lot of people that simply don't have the space. They may be small craft people that, that aren't looking for production level. They wanna to go to a craft show or a craft fair yeah. and be able to take that machine with them and something smaller will get that. Um, we're also releasing some additional rotary accessories that will allow for more flexibility in both carving and engraving on round items. 